Yeah. You're not going in and out? You can hear me? I, I can hear you. Okay. Did, did you listen to the last conversations that we had? No. I don't know how I could do that. It, it's really easy to do because I've sent you the links countless times, but you refuse to listen to it. And if you listen to it, which maybe that you should do that before you have this conversation, you never, ever, ever said for me not to come to Christmas at high noon at the Duvall's. Ever. He, he, he said he would step back. No, Mom, you heard what you wanted to hear. And, da and Dad, more importantly, said, I promised you an open Christmas. So who said that he would step back? Those words never entered anyone's mouth. Who said step back? Mom, just be honest. You don't want me there because you want Olivia there. Why can't you just be honest? I know you're in denial. I know you have a real hard problem with this. I love you anyway. But your bottom line, you guys are both deceptive and you're liars, specifically regards to us coming to Christmas. And it's documented. Chris, I, the only understanding at this point we have is that it was my intention to, for everyone to be invited and, and when did you go about disinviting everybody? When I heard from Cheryl Lynn and Olivia was hesitating on coming. So there's an open invite yeah. until and unless yeah. somebody. Kathy, please, please step back because we, we start talking over each other and you can't communicate. Okay. No All right, we're listening. Which two people are talking at the same time. At, at that point in time, when I got that, I constructed what I thought might be a, an agreement between you and her in which that you would do certain things, i.e. back off of, of uh, emails and back off of, of uh, attending uh, uh, her college stuff. And we had a conversation concerning that because there was no sense proposing that to Olivia if I didn't have that agreement from you. You, and, and Kathy was not involved in that conversation because it was, it was in the evening. No, but no, no, but it was recorded and she's listened to it about three times, which I would encourage you to. Decided at that point in time. Okay, I, I recognize that, although you had indicated that you would would think it over, that you hadn't said yes, say no, your inkling was no, but you wanted to think it over. <clears throat> I guess it was about noon today, you called, and what I interpreted from that call was an opening statement that you said that, that you would back off from attending if that would be helpful to the whole thing. Never. After that, we went into a conversation that lasted probably another 15, 20 minutes that went back and forth. But my conclusion from that was that that you would back off from it. Well, you're, that, well, 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 unfortunately, Dad, your conclusion was, was absolutely wrong. And the reason it's wrong is because you wanted your own results, so you made up your own result. Mm -hmm. Well, you're <laughs> you're making a conclusion on yourself. Well, no, it's not a conclusion because I'm, I, my, I am who I am, and I say what I say. I don't, I don't, I don't play games and be deceptive like you. Obviously, have been planning this for days and basically tried to like figure out a way to disinvite me. And now you didn't. Now you think you did when you didn't. And now you're basically saying like it was my fault that I I disinvited myself. You're being accusatory, Chris. Though. No, I'm being, I'm being very, very honest. And you know something, Dad? I'm so glad that this is all on tape because maybe you will listen to it. And maybe you won't because it's very clear that you like to live in denial. And I see it with everything that goes on with you. Uh, how about you, Chris? Do you want to bring up all your past? Yeah, let's do it, Mom. Let's We're bring up your past, too. But if you want to deflect and go to me, go ahead. What, not, what am I living in denial about? We're not talking about the past. We're talking about the conversations that have been recorded in the past two days where never, not once, did Chris ever say that he was going to disinvite himself or back off of Christmas. Not one time. The only time... That 
The only thing was ever said was that it was an open invite. That was it. It's all recorded. We've listened to both conversations at least three times. It's just fact. Never did he say that. And it's in it. We can come over to your house and we can show you the recording and you can listen and you can tell us where in the world Chris ever said that. He did not. I do believe you're making it up so that you can see your precious grandchildren in spite of and, and putting it on Chris that it's his fault. Not only is it his fault that they won't come to Christmas without him, if he's there, but now it's his fault that he disinvited himself. I mean, you put absolutely everything on Chris. It, you're just wrong. I mean, it's in, it's in fact. It's in the recording of the phone calls. Every word is recorded. I don't know how you two sleep at night. I didn't say that again, Mom. I did not hear you. Thank you for telling us we're all wrong and all wet and stupid and liars. Thank you for the call. Good night. You're quite welcome. You'll make a great witness, Mom. Dad, is there anything you'd like to say in your defense? Good night. Sadly, the conversation we're having right now would be my worst fear of having you here together with, with others, including or not even including uh, your daughter. Well, that's really sad that you feel that way because you and mom, more than anybody, have enabled Olivia to be this way. Yep. You've endorsed every single action. You've said that her mother is wonder of her. You've enabled every single action. And the two of you cannot admit that at all. And here you go. And you just put the nail on the coffin to let Olivia know that she can get rid of her dad because her grandparents think it's okay. No, no, mom, you are pitching everybody against everybody because you want your granddaughter, you want Olivia that you call a princess and she eats too much this and that and spends money and all these things that you say negatively about Olivia. You still want her there so bad that you're willing to destroy the entire family you spent your lifetime building. That's really, really, really sad. Your your Christmas card is such a fraud. Just chaos, chaos. There's no, no point in continuing this conversation. I'm trying to get ready for tomorrow and trying to get ready for Sunday. And I can't stand all the tension that goes on with this guy. You just created the tension yourself, Mom. It was real simple when you just have an open at Christmas and whoever comes, comes. There's nothing to do. No, to her. Well, fortunately, the attention is just between you and us, and that's it. Uh, oh, really? Well, are you happy with what you got? No, I'm not happy at all, but unfortunately, Chris, uh, your your sister and your brother, your brother-in-law, and certainly your daughter uh, is uncomfortable with having you around. Oh, really? You had you had a family meeting? This was like an intervention to scheme against me? That's what you all did? One-on-one -on -one conversation. You with you, you, with, you talked with Andy and Victoria and Drew and everybody. You, you go ahead and you, you talk to them yourself. I will. We've talked. We've been talking to Sherilyn. What? And why didn't you say that in the very beginning, Dad, since you obviously have found the time not to talk to Olivia, but to talk to everybody else about how to exclude your own son from Christmas. So this happened today? You talked to everyone today? No, no, no. I'm just over time when I've talked to them. Oh, okay. Oh, and, so and, you're and, 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 and they've been you're, saying all year, make sure that I don't uh, come. <laughs> that's that's what you're saying? You're extrapolating conversations that you've had with Carter and Sherilyn that, you know, they're, they, they, with their reservations with, uh, and their discomfort with the family tension. So, so, so you're extrapolating a Sherilyn's uh, non-invite to us to Thanksgiving. Suppose we were told because 
she only has a, enough room for a certain amount of people and wanted to invite the in-laws only. But now you're, you're, you're extrapolating that and using that as a reason to say that the entire family doesn't want Chris at Christmas. Even though just today you said on recorded, on a recorded conversation that there was an open invite. So now you're, you're going to blame Sherilyn now. No, no, no. I'm just giving you a, a broader overview of what's involved. So because Sherilyn and Carter may have had some issues with Chris along yeah. the, the year, that now yeah. you're, you're taking that as, as, um, as, yeah. as a rationale to disinvite Chris. And also to, to not just to disinvite him, but to tell him that he was the one who disinvited himself. So which is it? Is he disinvited or is he, or did Chris disinvite himself? Which is it? Anyway, I was trying to be conciliatory to Chris when I, I said it, I phrased it the way I did to Olivia, that he was in the benefit of Christianity and Christianity <laughs> together. He was going to step back. But you know that that's not the case. We elected to disinvite him, but I was trying to be conciliatory <coughs> by, by saying that you step back. But you know that that's not the case. You know that's not true. You know that Chris did not voluntarily step back. We don't. What? And Chris, we have been overboard of trying to be your supporter. Yeah, that that's really pitiful. That's really pitiful that the best you can do is to say, we'd like to have an, an open invite Christmas. Oh, that's not okay? Okay, Chris is disinvited. That's really piss poor support. Disgusting. You, you need I'm to done. pray. You need to pray to one I'm of your done. gods, Dad. I'm, because I'm not ever that's certainly going not to, what Jesus would do. I don't want to go to harvest. I don't want to go to Easter. I don't want to do anything. It's disgusting. So I'm done. I'm going upstairs. Well, you've unfortunately reinforced. Why are you, you with your boys on Christmas? I am You're with my. Don't do not, well, do for, not. Do not bring up my children in this conversation. Do you understand me? I am seeing my boys when I want to see them. Do not bring them up in this conversation. Do not, do not bring up my family. Do not bring up my mother and when I'm going to see her so that you can get what you want. Do not bring up my mother. Do not bring up my children. Do not do that. Do not. You have a list of do not. Please write them down so I can read them. You won't read them. You won't read them. I want, I want you to send me a whole list of a hundred things. I'm asking you, do not bring up my children in this conversation right now. Well, do not bring up any of this crap anymore. Good night. It's over. This conversation's over. Good night. Hang up. I'm so fucking mad.